And in this kind of modern AI renaissance we're in, the big Achilles heel you'll find is not having appropriate data provenance for what data you're using to test and train. And that's especially relevant, like we saw it with the former CTO of OpenAI, March of last year. I'll never forget that interview where um, they had just released Sora, their video model. And there was a pretty challenging interview with that CTO saying, so where'd you get the training data for that? Is it public and private data sets? And she's like, yeah, I think there's public in there. I don't, I don't know. Say, oh, what about YouTube? Did you get it from YouTube? She's like, maybe. Kind of like, I couldn't believe as a side note, they hadn't like primed her for these sorts of challenging interviews. She was kind of, I don't, I don't know, maybe. It's like, well, if you did, did you have the rights to do that? I'm not sure. I'll have to like, no, she was lying. They they stole the data and they knew it, which is a huge problem. And there's kind of this legal right. issue catching up to all of that. Whereas we right now are sitting with this giant war chest where we have the GDPR client consent where we were validated uniquely with that, giving us this very unique responsible AI story that no one else has, unmatched data set and unmatched data problem. And that's already won us opportunities with like the kind of the mangs of the world, if that's the right acronym now. So like the world's top companies are now using us because we have this data provenance for face models that puts them on good footing with international regulators. So they're now, I'm doing business with them. They're now able to tell international regulators, yes, we're using biometrics, but it's not us. It's this European company. They're on the leading edge of GDPR compliance. And in fact, let me show you this fairness report. We put them through the gauntlet of a new responsible AI demographic fairness testing protocol. And in that, they showed fairness across darker skin tones that's never been publicly demonstrated before. And that's a, that's a true story of how we got into production with one of those, one of the largest companies on earth. And that story resonates everywhere because no one else has that.